started here in 1993, but uh, I'm still here, and I, I strongly believe that this is the only place for me. Uh, it was then when I started, and it still is, and it also will be tomorrow. Uh, I did start here as actually the first environmental manager in the textile industry. Uh, life hired me I, right out of the university, um, actually with a quite unusual background, as uh, I have a master in uh, international business, sales and marketing. But uh, together, life and I, we used uh, we started with uh, working with all his thoughts about green cotton and uh, <clears throat> everything he has done until that time, and uh, starting to add a little more management tools, uh, organization structure into his uh, belief. And actually, that turned out quite well. Already in uh, 1994, we was uh, we were acknowledged by, with to the environmental better uh, prize here for good environmental management. Um, further uh, that year, uh, we went to uh, UN uh, and had the United Nations Environmental Program Award uh, handed over in uh, New York. It was a fantastic time of that, uh, and a fantastic uh, <coughs> uh, experience. But uh, further on, uh, we, uh, we worked very, very hard over throughout uh, the coming years. And actually today, what you do see in terms of environmental labeling, such as uh, the European flower, the swan label, etc., those are actually built uh, upon uh, a lot of the work that we did at that time. Uh, <clears throat> now, what we have always wanted and what we have done uh, from there was that we did combine the product labeling together with the management part. Uh, we are ISO, ISO 19001, ISO 14001 certified, and textile and working with textile in an environmental way is a quite complex situation. We develop new products constantly, and you really need to understand that if you want to label something, you, know, you need to have a very strong structure and documentation behind that. Now, we did a lot of work. We did a lot of speeches. I think at that time we did, I did myself did 250, 300 speeches uh, in, in those uh, first two, three years, international, just as national. But uh, in 1997, uh, life asked me to join the company and uh, become a partner. Uh, I was really happy about that. Uh, this company is my life. And uh, I started to do sales in Scandinavia and the uh, UK market. Uh, but in 2002, uh, life he passed away all too sudden. And uh, I was asked to step in as CEO, which I am still today. It was a very hard time uh, missing life. But also uh, due to the fact that the Danish uh, textile industry closed down, in, in the years right after. Uh, we had to go international. Uh, we had to uh, build up a new uh, supplier base, teaching about our thoughts, but also building up uh, all documentation behind that. Uh, I think we have uh, managed, and I'm very proud of where we are today and looking forward. There's no doubt in anyone's mind here, and there shouldn't be in anyone else as well, that we have a lot of ambitions and we have a lot of new things ahead that we want to improve of. And, uh, for certain, you can believe that the Green Cotton brand will further develop and you'll see a lot about it in the coming years.